Welcome back to the Morning Blend. 16 million people in the United States suffer from serious depression. The goal of treatment is remission, which means that patients are no longer depressed. Did you know that fewer than half of patients with depression respond to their first medication? A new guided study suggests that genetic testing could improve remission rates. Dr. Sagar Parikh is a professor of psychiatry at the University of Michigan. He joins us live along with Carmala Walgren, who has lived Lived with depression. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Thank Hello. you. Good morning. Good morning to you. And doctor, we mentioned how significant how many people in the United States um, are dealing with depression. What are the symptoms real quickly for people who may not be aware? Well, the key symptoms are, of course, feeling really low, not able to enjoy the usual things in life. Uh, physical symptoms include problems with sleep, insomnia, broken sleep, poor appetite, low energy, and especially problems with thinking like pessimism, I'm no good, and maybe having some dark thoughts about wanting to be around. For people who struggle with depression, I think it's hard to hear that it's not curable per se, but that it's something that we hope to put in remission. But if you're in remission, are you basically living symptom free? Yes, the mm -hmm. implication of uh, remission is that uh, while the disease is uh, in the background, it's actually fully controlled and uh, you can go on to your usual life and uh, your usual work. It, it's, it's interesting too and must be discouraging that very often people who are depressed try medications and the first one very often doesn't work and maybe there are even more that don't work. Do you find that patients are discouraged by that? Right now, uh, it is discouraging, as you mentioned, only about uh, less than half actually find, uh, you know, hit a home run with their first uh, antidepressant medicine. And so both the doctor and the patient get a little bit frustrated trying other things, uh, but usually persistence pays off. In just a second, I want to talk about genetic testing because this is fascinating. But Carmala, talk just briefly about your experience with depression when you were diagnosed and what the symptoms were like in your life. Uh, I was diagnosed with depression when I was 22 years old, and uh, I'm 72 now, so I had 50 years of depression. And for me, physical depre the, the depression brought a real physical pain. It felt a real heaviness on me. Uh, you hear people say I was so depressed I couldn't get off the couch. Well, in my case, I couldn't get the couch off me. That's what it felt like. Uh, I tried different medications, and as you were asking Dr. Parikh, I tried over, uh, uh, you know, over a dozen or more different medications over 50 years. But uh, now, with the gene site test for the past year and a half, I am in remission. I am able to function. I am happy, and uh, the gene site test changed my life. Carmala, it's so wonderful to hear that. I can't imagine, nor can most people probably, what it's like to deal with depression for 50 years. Doctor, explain if you would how this genetic testing is helping people like Carmala who've been struggling for decades in some cases. Um, the issue is that you know, we don't have good predictors of who will respond to what treatment uh, until now and we're just testing genetic tests uh, to, to establish that. So what these tests do, luckily they're not a blood test, now it's a cheek swab that you send off to a lab and you get a printout back. And this printout says the following medicines are likely fine for your body and have a good chance of working and the, the other medicines might give you trouble. And so the doctor and patient can then choose based on the list of good medicines, uh, which one to start with. That's amazing. And it's putting people in remission. You're finding lots of success stories. So we did a large study with uh, over 1,200 patients from across the United States. And what we found is that people who had had trouble with antidepressants before, that is, they had uh, been tried on an average of three different antidepressants and it wasn't working or it was giving them too many side effects, those were the people who had a improved chance of remission. In fact, a 50% improvement in their chances of getting their depression under control yeah. with the results from the genetic testing to guide the treatment. Incredible. Just yes or no, does Medicare and insurance often pay for this testing? 
yes, Medicare covers it. That's wonderful. And people are going to say, I know someone or I've been struggling with depression. How can people get more information and possibly get this test, which requires just a cheek swab? Well, first, you know, you have to go to your doctor and, and ask for it. You can get information about depression from the website depressioncenter.org. And you can get information about this genetic test from genesite.com. And here again is that website. It is genesite.com. Dot com. Dr. and Carmala, thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you.